everyone welcome to my front porch and entryway i'm going to share with you today how i have decorated this area as well as my front area right outside for fall so they're kind of actually two different styles outside i love to use the natural fall colors if you've seen my small back porch um patio decor you know that's a lot of moms and a lot of color and then inside is a lot more neutral if you've seen my kitchen fall decor so really they're kind of different but they still correlate and connect in a way so i hope you enjoy this as i share with you how i've decorated this for fall so obviously i'm going to start outside first so to begin with i found this crock at a garage sale and many of you know if you watched my most recent thrift and rummage haul this was $25 so I used this for containing my corn stalks and I raised my own corn sweet corn and so I just cut my own stalks down and I filled it because I just love the look of using natural elements especially those that you home raise yourself and then I added some color of course with some mums so I found these mums at Aldi and the bright orange up front, I don't know, it just, it really pops and I love how it draws your eye into the front porch and just a thrifted 50 cent basket. And then these pumpkins, I was at um, our park, honestly, here in my small town and there was a local lady who has a lot of homegrown things and she had these pumpkins so I purchased them from her and I just think that adds some life and texture and color. I only was able to raise mini white pumpkins, so I needed to find the large pumpkins from somewhere, and why not from a locally grown um, place in the farmer. I didn't do a whole lot with my steps because as you can see, they're super small and narrow. Eventually, we'd love to build a deck out front, but so I used my part of the tree that I always use for every season. My lantern has been there for the spring, the summer, and it just really transitions for all the seasons. And I like the blue right outside there. And then another mom, of course. Now for our house number window box planter, I bought some um, hardy small moms from my local flower shop because I couldn't find the small ones anywhere, even when I was looking in my local city and I wanted to support my local flower shop too. So they'll grow in hopefully eventually and then I'll put them in the ground. Um, and I just think it's cute to have that pop of yellow. All right, so let's enter to my front porch. My front porch area behind me is the bigger side. It is literally like a the span of my arm width. So it's like a six by five area. Um, very small just a little front entry that I love to decorate um, and then on my coat rack I have a basket that is filled with some dead foliage really and some cattails and I learned that if you leave your cattails too long they'll explode and let all of their little seeds fly everywhere so that's why it's empty currently behind me and I just used it for the purpose of decorating. So I don't even know what some of the plants are that I have in there. I just liked the brown and the yellow and um, that neutral because inside is a lot more neutral. All right, then in my watering can that I found in an antique store, I got these wheat stems, wheat stalks. Um, my dad is a farmer and he does sometimes have wheat, but I did not get them from him because he would have already harvested them in July. So I bought these off the Hobby Lobby on their 50% off floral. And honestly, I ordered online and had them shipped to me. So you could definitely do that. And I like how that looks. And then on my second shelf, I have these antlers and my homegrown white mini pumpkins and um, a couple little pine cones from my backyard. So you'll see once I finally do my fall decor tour, um, September 21st, that that is the theme of my whole house is a lot of natural elements from my own yard. And then in this crock that my grandpa gave me years and years ago, I have some more wheat stems and some cotton stems. Actually, cotton stems again are from Hobby Lobby. I did a DIY years ago of making a cotton stem, so if I find it, I'll link it in the description box. And then I got this chair at a garage sale. I used to not have a place to sit and I was finding out that people were struggling to put their shoes on in here if I wanted them to keep their shoes out here. Um, so the chair was a spray painted gold that was chipping off. I got it for $5 and so I painted it 
um, Kendall Charcoal Gray from the Benjamin Moore line. It's the same color as our Fixer Upper House, actually the exterior color. So I think that looks so beautiful out here to have that darker color with the um, woven seat. And then I just threw a fall pillow on there. The other side actually has a lot of color to it, so I used the blue side. And then a faux white pumpkin that used to be orange that I found on the side of the road and spray painted. And I just think that adds that nice pop of um, fall to it with that white pumpkin and very neutral. I didn't want the orange in here at all. Um, and so that's what I have there. And then I found this welcome sign with the three metal pumpkins. And I just like having a little bit of um, that rustic touch there with that wall hanging. So that is truly my front stoop and porch decor. Very simple things I found thrifted mainly. Um, not a whole lot I can link for you really other than the Hobby Lobby stems. So I hope this inspires you to decorate for fall. If you haven't yet, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I love doing videos such as these, homemaking and motherhood. So um, come along with me. So you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you next week Tuesday. Bye.